Hey everyone, Patrick here, aka Not a Storm, and I just thought I'd show you my PvP map Catalyst because I haven't actually made a video on it. Um, this map has two different versions. One is more Race for Wool inspired, where you start out with very few resources and need to work your way up while fighting the other team and monsters. And the other one was made more for uh, that PGM server I'm a part of, where it's just player versus player, full out. PvP fighting and stuff. Uh, so the objective that the objective of this map is a very different than other race for wool kind of maps. Um, if you didn't see, in each corner there are these monuments, and at each of these monuments there is obsidian, and this obsidian is holding back water, which then goes down into up oh, the catacombs and yes, the catacombs of the map. Um, and it breaks a redstone torch down in the dungeons, which then goes ahead and activates these redstone scoreboards. Now, to break that obsidian, you would probably need diamonds. And the diamonds are also located in the bottom of the map. So, um, just imagine I have a diamond pick here, and I break that block. And I'll show you what happens in a sec. So, you start out in your bases with, um, you know, your minimalistic supplies, like, what do we have? Swords, and torches, and food, and, you know, different things to help you along. And then let's go to the center of the map. This is the only way down, right here, and right there. Uh, so let me grab some torches, actually. And what's my difficulty at? Hard. Okay, so I actually see some mobs. So we'll go down here. And this is the first challenge. Um, you need to be fighting the other team while going down this big circle cylinder here. And hopefully you don't get shot off by like skeletons or anything. Because there are quite a few mobs just because it's dark down here. Which adds to the challenge a bit. Um, so this is the first dungeon layer. There's a lot of mobs. Mob spawners over there. Um, here's the iron on the map that you should get to make your iron armor. Now there's coal on the ceiling, and there's also coal up in the mountain. So um, yeah, here's some more supplies in this spawner right here. The bigger spawners have um, that bat that other supplies, and this is the big dungeon right here. It it's fancy looking. Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. How are you today? Oh, aren't you so cute? Yes, you are. Okay, um, so back to, back to the map. Um, so here's the big dungeon with a lot of mob spawners and stuff. Um, there's some iron blocks for some quick access to armor rather than smelting and stuff. And then there's some redstone, which I shall tell you about in just a second. So you will traverse and possibly even parkour your way down the map over here to the mineshaft where you need to break the cobwebs, grab some blocks, I'm gonna grab some ladders, and see if I can do a ladder drop. I haven't really practiced them. Um, boom, oh yeah, oh yeah. That, that skill right there, ladder dropping. And uh, this is the final layer of the map. This is the lava level. And you can see the diamonds are right there on that central island. Um, and here are those redstone torches that the water monuments actually go and break. So you, um, there are some blaze spawners up here as well to try and distract you. I think those are a bit too high up, so this level shouldn't be too hard. But um, again, you'll be fighting mobs and the other team. So there are your diamonds to make your diamond pick to break the obsidian. And as you can see, uh, that water we broke in that monument earlier broke this redstone torch. So you can actually go back and plug up that monument the the other team can and you can get that redstone from the dungeon that I showed you earlier and you aren't actually allowed to do this but just imagine the water stopped because I plugged it up and you are allowed to place the redstone torch back and that prevents your, the other team from uh, winning so quickly but again you are not allowed to actually place blocks right here only up at the water monuments so that is how Catalyst is played. Um, but let's say you want to stop your team even further. Let's say they've got a bunch of ladders and blocks up in here and stuff. 
and you're just like, no, I'm not having, I, I, ain't, I ain't having any of that. I ain't having none of that. Or some other random slang that I can't really say or, I don't know, you want to trash talk. Basically, that's it. Um, in this room, there is TNT. How about that? So you can go ahead here in the chest, um, grab some TNT, maybe make a cannon, blow up the opposing team's base. Which is, that's the thing about this map, you're not separated by two different lanes, like Race for Wall maps. You're all on the same thingy island thing map. Um, so, yeah, you want to blow up the opposing team's ladders or something. Just place TNT right here on top of the mine shaft. Step on the pressure plate, piston releases. Boom. And they're gone. Or the, there were some here, so that can that's a way to slow down the other team so yeah got your iron down here supplies dungeons and stuff and yeah first team to have all of the redstone torches on the scoreboard wins and yes it all it all corresponds back to these wonderful scoreboards on the map um, so whoever has all of those lit wins first or just wins in general. Um, now, if you don't want the slow, painful struggle of dying all the time against mobs, you just want to go out, kill people, because this map takes anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour, at least when me and my friends played it. Um, but there is another version of the map which I designed for PGM, not PMG as UMOP totally called me out on um, in one of my earlier videos. So this is the, really, really, we got the rain and stuff. Thank God for single player commands. Oh, here's the little map model. How cool is that? Um, let me just switch my game mode. Here's the map model. Oh, look at you. You got your bases and you get to go down here and get more resources and stuff. But of course it's so much more fun to show you what's actually going on here. So what's the difference between this one and the other one? Well, the first difference is that you actually have tunnels to run in. So rather than just being dumped off right in the middle of the map, you actually have to run through your own tunnels to get to your base. Uh, just like on PGM or Project Ares, as you may know it, which is a very fun PvP server. If you have not played already, I'll be making more videos of Steve. Everyone likes Steve. Steve is hilarious. Love that guy. And he still wants pancakes, as far as I know. But uh, here's your base. A lot more materials, because, you know, a lot more people will be playing this map. And, of course, everyone's favorite chest full of TNT, because it's dynamite. And, um, and more materials. So... Instead of breaking water monuments, because I thought that was kind of... It was a new, interesting concept, but it's kind of dumb, and the redstone is fiddly and takes a while, and there's so many ways to kind of get around it, I guess. Um, this is the newish, newer version. Instead of having to break four um, water monuments, you only have to break two now, both on the opposing time... Or uh, the opposing... Blah, blah, the opposing side, um, where your, uh, the opposing team is. But instead of water, there's now an enchantment table. So you need to break both of the opposing team's enchantment tables to win this map. Of course, I'm not going to give you the diamonds right off the bat. I have replaced coal in the mountain with a lot of iron for armor and stuff. Um, there's now a tree fort here with more supplies. Because, come on, sniping from the trees, how cool is that? Bit of treak parkour you can do. Parkour! Um, there's also another outpost up here with arrows and stuff, but um, still the map layout is the same. You need to go down here, go down to the dungeons, and remember this version, you won't be fighting any mobs. It's done in, with no mob spawns. Not peaceful, because then you can't really kill anyone. But uh, no mobs. We'll just go down here. All the dungeons have been replaced with a bunch more supplies and stuff, and um, just Again, go down the mine shaft, try to stop the other team from doing so, get across the lava, and boom, get your diamonds. There's also diamonds up here in the ceiling, um, since so you're not so desperate. Iron also, um, and yeah, 
get your diamonds, get your diamond pick, and break the opposing team's enchantment tables. Unless you want to, like, punch for five minutes or something. Um, so yeah, this guy is still here. Boom. TNT. Kablooey. Why did I just say Kablooey? I... Huh. I don't know. Anyways, that's the PvP the, the PvP version of Catalyst. Now there is actually one diamond block here on the surface, right in the center of the map, right under the mountains. So if you want to rush it, that is the only way you can do so. Uh, so that's Catalyst. That about wraps things up. Hopefully you understood it, understand uh, what the map's all about. If you want to download either version, go ahead and check the video description down below. There will be a download link over to the Minecraft forums where I've got this all posted. If you have any suggestions, let me know there as well. And uh, hope you, hopefully you guys liked it. See you next time.